welcome. This is Melinda Parlo, CZT Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is macrame. And it's just a fun tangle of knots. Look at this. If you've ever been wanting to draw strings or knots, this is the tangle that will help you accomplish that. Did one on a bookmark and a couple of square tiles, one on gray and highlighted with white. I think that's what I'm going to draw on today is a gray tile. Every once in a while I like to pick out a, a gray tile and draw on it because I, you can add white to it and it just makes it pop. And so here we are with macrame. And I will have to put in the credits. I do not know... The author of Macrame, I'm just looking at my notes here. And let's see. Oh, Michelle Beecham. Uh, there they are, Michelle Beecham. It's a great tangle. So we're going to start out with three little lines. And then I rotate my tile and do three lines right on top of those. Rotate again and do three lines on top of that to where I have a little square, a basket weave looking piece with three lines. And I'm going to hook it together with a little scallop. And there I have it. Now, it's best if you put this down, several of these first, before you start drawing your, your rope in. Because then you can have them entangled in each other. So we're just going to randomly put these little knots on our paper. Three lines, three lines. Did you notice this one looks like it runs all the way through? I tried doing just an X and then two lines on each side and it was just more than my brain could handle. So when Michelle did this, I can see why she did her step outs while you do the three little lines. It just is a soothing to the brain and easy to comprehend. It's best if they're equal, distance apart, but it really doesn't matter if they hang over the edge a little bit or not. Now comes the magic. We're going to put some lines in between. I'm just going to start out with one, with the middle one, and I like to start with my line coming out of the center. So think of that as the center. And we'll come up, and I'm going to curve around, and this is just going to come back down and hook on. So it looks like that rope is going out. One of the fascinating things that's fun to do is I'm going to go from center to center of here. That will allow me to make that rope connect there. I always start with the center so I know I've got room to come back and connect my rope. So out of every one of these little areas, I'm going to draw a rope or string coming out. I can have my rope come and go into the side of one next to it, or I can have it come and just be a tail on its own. 
but I am going to come out of all four areas, always starting in the center and going to the center. That way you will have plenty of room to make your rope look like it's coming out. You can even come around and go back into the same little knot that it did, that it came out of. So you see I've got four coming out of all four of those, and now I can go and make sure I have four coming out of each one of these. So I have one coming out of here, so let's do another one. Coming out. Remember to start in the center. And then no matter what side you come down, you can do a little holly bar. You're going to have it. It's going to connect right. Always come out of the center and go to the center. And I'm just randomly choosing where my little cords go. And it looks like there we have macrame. Amazing, isn't it? Now, because I did it with on gray, I can shade with a little white. So I'm going to shade this with my chalk pencil. you can get some great looks even with that graphite. And Michelle Beecham just did a fabulous job of creating macrame. If you like ropes and twists and need something fun to just twist up, here we have a fun way to practice your stringing, you, your um, lines, making sure they're, they're um, accurate. Just a great tangle. Thanks, Michelle, for macrame. And thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and have a fabulous day.